Good morning. All right, you guys, it's Miss Glover again, and we're back. Uh, we're back with another close reading. Um, so we're going to talk about artists, Frida Kahlo. Go ahead, flip through your article and discuss, well, not discuss, but locate all the things that you know that is going to help you with the genre. Once you find the genre, go ahead and list it along with the thinking jobs that go along with that genre. Please pause the video to give yourself time to find the genre and to list the genre and the thinking jobs that go along with it. The genre is nonfiction and the thinking jobs for nonfiction are topic and teach me. We know that nonfiction has a topic and we know that nonfiction is there to teach you or to teach me. All right, our topic is gonna be Frida Kahlo. And we know that she's an artist by looking at the title. Let's start reading now. Synopsis. Frida Kahlo is one of Mexico's greatest artists. She was born in Mexico in 1907. Her paintings show the pain she suffered in her life. Today, Kahlo is an artistic icon. Early life. Frida Kahlo was born Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo e Calderon in Mexico in 1907. When she was six years old, she got sick. Her sickness made her right leg grow thinner than her left. Kahlo started wearing long skirts to cover her leg. Later, she will be known for her fashion style. As a child, Kahlo was very close with her father. He taught her about art and nature. At the age of 15 in 1922, oops, sorry, skipped the whole subtitle, education. At the age of 15 in 1922, Kahlo attended the National Preparatory School. She planned on going to medical school. She studied natural sciences. In 1925, her plans ended. Kahlo got in an accident. She had to spend a long time in a bed to get better. While she was healing, Kahlo spent her time painting. She had a special tools to help her. Paint while she was laying down. A mirror was placed above her. This was, well, this was so Kahlo could paint pictures of herself. She would continue to paint pictures of herself for the rest of her life. I paint myself because I am all, I am so alone, she said. You guys, I'm going to stop here because we learned something super important about Kahlo's life. Go ahead and turn and talk with your siblings or your parents and discuss what was so important that we learned about Kahlo's life. Please pause the video now to discuss. We learned that Kahlo, what was super important that we learned is that Kahlo got hurt in an accident. And because she got hurt, she started painting a lot. So, pencils up, jot with me. Kahlo got hurt, painted. Now remember, when we jot, we jot smarter, not harder. All right? So, Kahlo got hurt. Let's keep going celebrating her Mexican background. In 1927, Kahlo was mostly healed. The next year, she met a painter named Diego Rivera. He was famous for his large mural paintings. These were paintings that he painted directly on walls. Carlo and Rivera got married in 1929. They moved to, they moved to Cuernavaca, Mexico, where Kahlo worked on her art. She celebrated her Mexican background in her paintings. She also started wearing traditional Mexican clothing, clothes. She wore colorful tops and long skirts. Let's go ahead and stop here because Again, we learned something super important about Kahlo's life. 
turn and talk and turn and talk with your siblings or your parents and discuss what was super important about Kylo's life that we learned in this last section. Please pause the video here. What we learned that was super important um, about Kylo's life in this section was that Kylo got married to Diego Rivera. That was the most important thing that we learned in this section. So pencils up, jot with me. Kahlo married Rivera. Let's keep reading. Kahlo abroad. Rivera's work took, a couple, took the couple to the United States. Rivera was hired to paint murals here. Kahlo did not enjoy life in America. She did not like how rich people lived in fancy houses while poor people went hungry. Instead of going to parties, Kahlo stayed home. She kept working on her painting. In 1937, some of Kahlo's paintings were shown in Mexico. Art collectors began to celebrate her work. She was eventually invited to show her work in the United States. There, people praised her bold painting. Again, let's stop here because we learned something about Kahlo's work and what's happening to Kahlo's work at this time in our, in our article. Go ahead and discuss with your siblings or your parents and talk about what did we learn? Go ahead and pause the video here. All right. So what we learned that was super important is that Kahlo's work is finally starting to get recognized. And usually what happens when her work, when people's work get recognized, they get popular. So let's go ahead and jot. Pencils up, jot with me. Kahlo's work became popular. A great artist. In 1939, Kahlo and Rivera ended their marriage. They split up but stayed friends. Then they got remarried. In her final years, Kahlo's health got worse and she became very sad. Still, she continued to paint. Kahlo died in 1954 at the age of 47. Kahlo's fame continues to grow. She is now considered one of Mexico's greatest artists. All right, you guys, it's that time again. Parents, please give your kids about two to five minutes to jot their big idea. Remember, your big idea takes into consideration all of the jots that we've made and some things that you've learned. And remember, it also gives, it's the reason why the artist, oh, not the artist, the author wrote this article. So, when you're writing your big idea, ask yourself, what was the purpose? Why did the author write this? Please pause the video now. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and reveal the big idea. Big idea, Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter who found love for painting after a tragic accident. She was, she married Mexican painter Diego Rivera. That's the big idea, you guys. And as long as you have something along those lines, you got it right. All right, you guys. Until next time, which is tomorrow. Um, stay safe, stay happy, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hopefully, this whole thing will be over soon. All right, bye.